Hello guys, um, welcome back to my Sims 4, sorry I just clapped, my Sims 4 household makeovers series. Um, if you can see the name, yes, this is Eliza Pancakes. Um, okay, yes. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm very happy right now because I'm home alone. My whole family went out to a birthday party and they're like you want to come and I'm like no thanks I'm good I'll stay at home um I really wanted to record it's like really late though it's like six o'clock right now and I really wanted to try to record a couple of videos today but let's just see how many I can get done because then I probably have to edit them and then upload them so I mean if anything if worse comes to worse I can try to upload them tomorrow but I really wanted to at least record like four videos, if anything. So, yes, let's jump right into this because I don't want this this video to be very long because, again, I have other videos that I want to record. So, um, I just, just made over this family, like not too long ago, maybe like a few minutes ago. And I just literally just finished decorating their house so this is Eliza's new look she looks gorgeous she doesn't look like the little geek anymore she changed her body figure so she has a figure now she has nice boobs and you know she has a nice body her hair still kept the, the orange hair just gave her like a bun and some you know makeup and everything like that so this is her everyday outfit most of I think uh, actually I think all of her clothes are green just to let you know now because her favorite color is green so this is her everyday wear this is her formal wear got this like I guess dark olive green dress with like some nude heels and yes her formal wear this is her Sorry, I had to, like, burp. <clears throat> this is her athletic wear. Again, green, of course. Her sleepwear. Very cute. It's very... It looks very comfy. She has this big, oversized sweater. And some, like, um, capri leggings. She's got some black framed glasses. Her signature... Well, these are bigger than her glasses, but she's got her signature... Eliza glasses and some bunny slippers because those look so comfy. Then we got her party wear, another little green dress, which is cute. And lastly, her swimwear, which is pretty sexy, I would say. But yeah. And that's it for Eliza. I kept her traits the same. Actually, I only changed one. Um, she used to be materialistic, and I just changed her to a snob. And she's a perfectionist, and she's neat. I didn't change her aspirations or those two treats. Now let's move on to Bob Pancakes. I think he actually took me the longest to do because I was trying to get his face right. I don't know, just like his face wasn't like working for me. So I did change his traits. I made him good, a foodie, and family-oriented. Before he was like, I think, a slob. He was, I don't remember exactly what he was. I think he was, like, lazy and a loner. I was like, that's that, that's not going to work. I also gave him a green shirt, too, with some, with, like, a plaid um, button down. Yes. And I honestly don't know what his favorite color is. I didn't give him, like, a certain color scheme. This is his formal wear. Pretty casual. You know, they're not very fancy people. So, and this, I guess I, get, I did dress him up in green, too. Sort of. Um, this is his athletic wear. His sleep wear. He just has some boxers on. This is his party wear. Also very casual. And lastly, his swimwear, which I didn't actually change. Um, just maybe give him a, a green one, whatever. They're, they like the color green. All right. So that's, that's it for the creative sim part. Again, I really want this part to be quick and simple. Don't need to spend a lot of time on their outfits because it's just, 
not that important. And then I'm going to show you the house that I just finished decorating. It's really cute. I didn't do too much to the upstairs. Okay, that's loud. <clears throat> so let me show you the house real quick. This is their little house. I'm going to have to use this as the thumbnail, of course. Um, I just got this house off of the gallery, of course, like always, because I don't like to build. It's pretty cute. Oh, they're in play mode. I'm like, what the hell? My bad. Um, okay. Um, yes. So, again, I didn't do a lot to the upstairs, but let's just jump right in. Going into the front, you have the front entrance. <clears throat> we have a little table here with a plant. We have a little, okay, this is hard. We have a little, like, table thing, which if you guys watch my um, Not So Berry Challenge, I also have, like, a table like by the door which is like a whole bunch of little knickknacks we got some books we have a pen holder we got a little statue tissues candles mail little clutter here and there um let's see which way should we go we'll go this way I guess this is their bedroom I kept it like neutral colors even though they both like green um yeah I just kept it like a beige neutral because I thought it was cute and their little dresser, I gave them a little green here and there. And we have some little poofs, I guess that's what you call them. Poofs? I don't know. Let's auto lights that. Auto lights that. This is their little personal bathroom. I gave them the vampire stuff. Um, bathroom stuff, I guess. Just because I wanted them to have a bath and a shower. And I don't like the other bath and shower. And I was like, if we're going to have the vampire bath, we might as well have the vampire everything. And I have this cute little mirror, which I think is custom content. But I feel like it it blends well, I believe. Alrighty, let's see. Moving on this way, we have a little office space, which is cute. Um, I just, again, redecorated. I always get so flummy when I try to record why god why so this was already an office when I you know was decorating this house and their room was already a bedroom I just kept everything sort of the same just added my own style so this is just like a little family office for whatever they uh, need to use it for we have another little bathroom here and this used to be like a little bedroom but I just turned it into a little gym Yes, because we have too many bathroom, um, too many bedrooms in this house, and there's only two of them for now. This is their little kitchen. There used to be like an island here, but I got rid of it because I felt like this whole room was like too cluttered. So we've got some nice gray counters with like marble countertops, which I love. I'm like obsessed with marble now because um, I watch this YouTuber called Coffee. And her YouTube banner of, is um, marble. And I don't know, she like likes to use marble a lot. So I'm like, you know what? I'm like really getting into marble for some reason. And also the color rose gold. So thank you, thank you coffee for that. Um, getting me into those. I also have a little microwave up here. Um, it's a custom content thing. And I don't know if it works, honestly. Like if they can even reach that. But I will find out one day, I guess. Moving on, we have a little dining table here with this plant in the middle. <laughs> and we have a living room with a couch and a chair and the TV. I really like using this TV now and this table. Again, if you've seen my um, Not So Berry Challenge, it looks pretty similar. I have the same coffee table, the same TV and TV stand. And yes, and I guess we're done for the downstairs. Let's just go outside real quickly. Um, I didn't really change the outside too much, so I just left it how it was. We have a little gardening area over here. We have a little patio table. We have a cute little bench and some lights, and we have a little pool and some trees. And upstairs, I just changed um, this room over here. It's like a little nursery slash toddler room. 
it's very simple. I don't even know if I'm going to keep it like that, but um, I just did that for now. And I changed the chess table that was here. And yeah, this room I kept the same. So this is actually the original room and the original bathroom. I didn't change that. Um, I'll probably change that later on, I guess, one day. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not going to play with them right now because, like I said, I do want to make other videos. And I also want to try to eat something because I'm hungry. And I have not eaten lunch. And it's like 6.24. And, yes. And I don't know what time my family is coming back from the party. They just, they left at like maybe 4, 4.30 or 5. They left. I jumped in the shower. I'm like, okay, let me record. Oh, and I was like, before I was recording, I was like, I spent, I think, like half an hour trying to fix my game because I installed like a whole bunch of custom content last night. And then when I was trying to start my Sims game today, it was like, it won't start because this something was corrupted. And I spent like half an hour trying to try different things, but stupid me, I didn't read the whole message that they were telling me. So basically they were telling me which custom content was corrupted. And I'm like, oh let me look for it and delete it and apparently it was like a whole bunch of them it was like this these hot tubs that I tried to install they had like all these different colors so I guess all of them were like corrupted so I had to get rid of them and the, my game worked again I was like thank the lord hallelujah I was like trying to repair it on origin and I was like freaking out I didn't know what to do I was like please don't make me have to like reinstall this game because I do not want to have to do that. So, but yes, that was my little crisis earlier today, but I'm fine now. So, all right, that's that's all I have to show you for this little household makeover. I hope you like it, and I don't know, maybe I'll play with them off camera. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this video. So, stay tuned for my next videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye.